Welcome back to The Five. So a charter school in Cincinnati plans to pay students from poor homes to show up, behave, and do their homework in the hopes that one day they'll graduate. Starting this week, Dawn Community High, that sounds so nice, will dole out 25 bucks a week to seniors and 10 bucks to underclassmen. The school relies totally on donations, and already 40 grand has been raised. The principal, Ramon Davenport, explains. You have students who haven't been here in, you know, three or four days coming through, walking through the building today on time. We're hoping that this incentive will get those kids off the streets and into a school building where they can be taught a skill to be productive in society. Now, at first, I really hated this idea. Kids should only be paid for chores or light entertainment, like yodeling. I love yodeling. Worse, it speaks to a culture where hard work is divorced from long-term goals. Delayed gratification is officially dead. But then I changed my mind. First, we aren't paying for this. It's private, which instantly makes it better than all those government programs that tripled the amount of spending in mere decades, only to result in worse test scores. Mm -hmm. Two, I'd pay to get kids to attend school if it will keep them off my block. Yeah, it's bribery, but one man's bribe is another man's untrampled azaleas. I love my azaleas. So cute. I named them Kimberly. Oh. Finally, let's just admit that school really isn't just about education. It's about keeping brats busy and out of trouble until they're old enough to work for me. You know, I didn't learn much in school, but if I didn't go, I would have ended up with a dead-end job, living in isolation, riddled with envy and shame, i.e. working at Media Matters. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I wrote that whole thing just so I could end it on me. <laughs> I could tell. That yeah. You worked backwards. Yeah, I worked backwards. <laughs> it's a backward principle. Um, Talent. Okay. Should students be paid to go to school? These are poor kids from poor homes. Eric? I like everything about your thesis, except for the part where it says uh, they're paid by donors and Federal Workforce Investment Act. Mmm, there's a catch. Good. But they said, Good. according to the article I read, all of the stuff paying to the kids to go to school were from Look, if you want to have private donors donation. that, that yeah, think that's what they that said. if it's all private money, knock yourself out, pay them to go, pay them for grades, even better. How about this? Pay the teachers for higher test scores. That's not a bad but idea. But sometimes like that happens, and then there's a lot of scandals with test scores and fabrication, alteration, all of well, the above. You know, you you got to sure. look at you got to look at what the cost of of having these kids out of school and on the streets. Not only the immediate cost, and sometimes in crime and others, but long term. If they get through school and they get a, at least a high school equivalency or, or high school diploma, there's a chance they can find work. Other than that, they have none and will generally be a cost to society in right. crime or in government payments or in something else. So I'm not so sure a charitable investment in getting kids to come to school is not a bad one because otherwise the, the cost to society will be enormous, I think. Dana, you were actually paid not to go to school <laughs> because you were... I wanted to go to school so much I'd get up at like 4 in the morning and then like I'd be ready to go with my lunch. I believe this. Like, Why box. am I not surprised? Yeah, this is the story. When I first heard this, I thought it was government, all government money. I was like, oh. We, this has gone too far. Um, I, I show up, I, sh I went to school because I wanted to learn. There was like an eagerness to learn. So there is a disconnect and it's been over time and we can have a whole discussion about that. That book uh, from Crown Forum that Charles Murray has just put out about the, the decline of white America and talking about the sort of the 1% versus the 99% there is interesting on this. But education is an honor and a privilege. Uh, I've had, I had the privilege of getting to travel around the world. There are kids everywhere, they would do anything to be able to go to a school like we have in America. But and we fact, don't do it here. Osama Why? bin Laden, it was just revealed, he actually told his kids, hey, uh, don't go into the family business. It'd be better off if you go to America and get educated and make something of yourself. Wow. So I think that if you look at, if, you, if this was China, can you imagine them having this conversation? They'd probably watch this and go, really? Yeah, no wonder they're true. not going to be a superpower anymore. But it's you true. Want to say something else? I got yeah, I just want to say, I mean, what, you know, what about motivation then incentives? Later? You either have that in you and you appreciate what you have in this country, which is better than any other place in the world, and take advantage of it. It's frustrating that now we got to pay kids to go to school, want to do something in your life. It's this but, whole, but, like, but Kim, you know, but, entitlement thing where everybody feels they should but, have, but, you know, the fancy house, the, this, that, work for it, like the, the immigrants that came over here did. They don't, they don't think that way. A lot of these kids are kids of single mothers Our in very culture? poor areas yeah. who don't see America as the American dream. In fact, in some cases, may see it exactly the opposite. And so, 
you got to look at this thing. If in another country with the people, yes, but in other countries, they don't have the rampant rate of single parent uh, poor people right. where, where the lion's share of these kids come from. And I, so I that's a big that. distinction. But so let's when deal you with do that. offer it that way, Bob, eventually, you know, you get used to it. You get used to the subsidies. So you when, when, the, it. when the donor theory or model runs out, then what? Then they're going to turn to the government and say, look, we've been paying these kids to go to school. Sure. They expect it now. So now it's going to end up becomes being a crutch. Program eventually. Right. Pay me to go to the, work. The, the pay me to take a shower. Like pay me to take my bed. Was, I was a, <laughs> there was a school here in, in the Washington, I mean, there was a school in the Washington metropolitan area where two very wealthy people said, if you graduate from high school, we will pay your way through college. Right. Well, remember was, Peter Thiel, who said, if you drop out of the lame colleges that you're going to and you come up with a great business idea, I'll, I'll give you $150,000. Right. But, but the interesting thing about this was they, they did offer to pay these kids to their whole college education, which was an incredible offer. And it was amazing to me how many of them who were from poor areas who didn't think they were going to go to college actually excelled and went to college. Now, maybe it's an incentive. You have to bribe people to do it, whatever you want to call it. But in this case, at least, it shows some potential to work. And for every one of those, they may come back to their community and make it a lot easier. But for I'd, be okay. I'd be okay, let's, let's do this program. But at the same time, we need to deal with that core issue that you mentioned, I which agree. is that we have got a whole generation of people that now will, are likely to grow. It's a cycle, and then we'll have many more yeah. as they continue on. Well, it's got to be better than what we're doing now. Anything is better than what we're doing now, right? I don't know. I mean, my, kids, my friend's kids go to school. Yeah. I know that we're, talk, we're we not got, talking about this. I know, I know we were supposed to get out of here, but let me just say again, a lot of this is responsibility, this dependency society. A lot of us on the left deserve some responsibility for this because we thought we were doing the right thing. It's got to be undone. We understand that, but it's got to be undone carefully. Uh, and I hope as we look forward to it, we look back and say we made some mistakes here, but it was for good reasons, not bad reasons. All right. Excellent, Bob. So Thank something, you. it was well said. It really was.